So over the past two months, I've been doing something on my blog every Friday. It's called The Five on Fridays. And in these posts, I recommend cool things I've found over the past week. They can be movies or TV shows or documentaries or causes or websites or any, you know, any kind of thing that I come across and I think deserve a mention somewhere. Um, so I thought since I'm doing this every week, without a without fail on my blog why not shoot a you know really short video for my youtube channel which i never do anything for so here it is it is week nine for the five on friday <laughs> Number one is a comic book series called Hack Slash, and this is a series that sort of takes the tropes of horror films, um, a girl being chased by some sort of slasher villain and sort of flips on its on its head because it is a girl chasing those slasher villains. It's really kind of cool and stylized, a little bit gory, kind of funny, a bit dark. Um, and definitely good comic book fodder, especially for Halloween when we are all watching all those Halloween um, movies like Halloween or The Nightmare on Elm Street, any of those crazy movies. This is a good thing if you want sort of a fresh take on that. So Hackslash, um, I've been reading the first volume of sort of combined volumes of the one shots that started the whole thing. So you can find it on Amazon and there will be a link in the description box. So number two is American Horror Story Hotel, which is the most recent season of American Horror Story. Uh, it's not in a house. It's not in an asylum. It's not in a witch's coven place. It's not a carnival, but it is a hotel. And I didn't have really high hopes for this going in because I don't think hotels are particularly creepy like an asylum. Super creepy hotel. Eh, kind of scuzzy but this turned out to be so creepy and so macabre it's really sort of i feel like very similar in terms of aesthetic and creepy factor as the first season which has been my favorite so far the storytelling not as good as it could be but it's you know it's okay um but the big highlight for me and maybe it isn't for other people but is lady gaga she looks flawless I can't stop looking at her, but at the same time, there's such a creepy edge to her and whatever she's doing. So I'm not gonna give you any spoilers. I'm not gonna let you know. Um, if you go to the blog post about this, there is a link to the um, first look from FX, which tells you just a little bit about the show, but you can actually catch, out the, catch up on the whole show on Hulu. The first three episodes of the season are there now, as well as the previous four seasons. So if American Horror Story is something you want to watch for Halloween, who is the place for you? So number three is actually a podcast called You Must Remember This by a woman called Karina Longworth. So you might not think a podcast fits in with the creepy factor I've got going on, but this one really does. The tagline for this podcast is, now let me get this right, the secret and or forgotten history of Hollywood's first century, which on its face, not terribly creepy, but then you think about Hollywood, very, very creepy, especially when she's done a series about Charles Manson's Hollywood. And this is a 12 part series and you want more, even though it's 12 parts, it's a long time to be listening to podcasts, but it's like every amazing weird detail. She goes into Charles Manson's history, his cult history, the people he knew in Hollywood, because apparently he knew a ton of people of ho in Hollywood. I had no idea. I had no idea that there were so many sort of similar cults that, I mean, they didn't murder people, but there was this similar like follower cultiest thing going on throughout um, Los Angeles. And I guess around the world, it was a big thing that I had no idea about, but Karina Longworth just makes it so fascinating but terrifying at the same time. Um, and I am on the last episode of that series now. Really looking forward to the other series she has going on in this podcast, um, all about Hollywood stuff, which I find very interesting. But this one, Charles Manson's Hollywood, particularly creepy and interesting during this spooky time of year. 
Number four is a movie called Housebound, which I feel like is my little secret movie that nobody knows about, but I'm sure other people know about it. I believe it was at the New Zealand Film Festival, um, and it definitely I've heard about it was it had a big debut at South by Southwest. So people know about it, but I haven't heard a lot of chatter around about it. Um, but it has to be possibly the best horror movie I've ever seen because there are a lot of movies that are all very, you know, dark humor and blah, 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 um, which are great in their own right, but they're not terribly scary. And then there's definitely this super scary movies up there that I know that you are hiding under your bed because you're so scared and you can't fall asleep. But this one really, I mean, it is not the scariest movie I've ever seen. It's not the funniest movie I've ever seen, but it combines both of those two together so well and has such a surprising weird creepy ending um and i watched it at night and i was hiding in the corner being like oh my god why am i doing this to myself why am i watching this right now but i got through it and i am so glad i did because it was just so good um, it is about a young woman who gets in trouble with the law in new zealand and is sentenced to house arrest at her mother's house which is haunted I don't know you'll have to watch the movie to find out it's so good um on my website there is a link to the trailer so definitely check that out or don't be completely surprised just know that it is worth watching and it is on netflix my final recommendation is a website called does the dog die.com and if you are like me you go through every every movie that has an animal not just horror movies hoping that something terrible doesn't happen to a dog because for some reason it is a device that people use that animals get hurt and it it's makes you afraid or it makes you feel sorry for someone why do animals have to get hurt i don't know i care if people get hurt too but if animals get hurt they're so innocent and so they don't know what's going on and it makes me i'm like about to cry just thinking about it right now but this website will tell you if the animal gets hurt so you can go into any movie knowing ahead of time if you want to know if you, it matters to you like it matters to me whether an animal gets hurt so they've got a whole compendium of i believe 2500 movies or so new ones i guess are added all the time so check it out i mean i have not watched movies because i know i've seen i've seen on here on this website i'm pointing at my computer that <laughs> that you know an animal gets hurt like the babadook which i hear is a fantabulous horror movie i can't watch because a poor dog dies in it apparently spoilers sorry but anyways it is a great website i'm so glad they made it i should have thought of it myself so i'm going to recommend you use it if that is something you worry about yourself so those are my recommendations for this week nine the spookiest week on our weekly schedule maybe there'll be some more spooky suggestions next week but i really wanted to get them all in this week so that next week you could sort of look at them, catch up on them, check into them, see if they were things you liked to get yourself ready for Halloween. If you do want a list of all of these recommendations and the recommendations I've made over the past two months, there is a link in the description box to my website that has this post and all of the previous posts as well. Um, so definitely check that out. I have more details about everything, the links to trailers and where you can find all these things. So this is the first time for having a video on this channel for a while, but next week I hope to have another video, which is um, going to be costume makeup for Halloween. Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm going to try to get much better about shooting on here because I have a whole setup now. But if you do want to see a video from me every day of the week, I have videos that go up on my other channel, which is the Maybe Show, um, and that is where I do gaming videos. So next week fingers crossed i'm gonna find some scary games and i'm gonna play this week this weekend and edit them and put them up and hopefully i'll get a lot of scary um things to show you guys where i'm hiding um behind things because i'm super scared i'm such a brady cat anyways thank you for watching this video i hope you come back for the next one see you then bye <laughs>